The third function used with regular expression is the find all function. I think this is by far the most used one because instead of returning a match object like match and search did, it returns a list where each element is a pattern that was matched inside the target string. Remember that the find all function, as its name suggests, returns a list of all the patterns that were matched. To see this, let's consider the same ARP entry as the target string. So let's see it. And let's say we want to match the IP address using regular expression syntax and the find all function. The IP address we want to match is composed of two digits in the first octet, then a dot, then two digits again, then another dot, then two digits again, another dot, and finally a single digit. Let me write a solution to this and then I'll explain it. So, okay, let's paste this. Okay, it returns the correct result, but it looks awfully complicated, but I think it's not. What I did is first I typed in uh, two backslash D special sequences, meaning Python should expect two digits, one after the other. Then I used the backslash dot, notice the backslash dot over here. This is called character escaping, because a dot in the regular expression world means any character except the new line, as we've seen in the previous lecture. In order to match an actual dot inside a string, the dot character itself, you are required to escape it using a backslash. This also is valid for question marks, plus signs, parentheses, and any other characters that have a special meaning in regular expressions. Then, instead of using two backslash d's, I used a single backslash d and the two inside curly braces, which means the previous character should occur two times. Then another escaped dot. For the third octet of the IP address, I use the set of characters, as it is called in the regular expressions world, which defines a range of characters, or a character class, which should be expected at that particular location in the pattern. In our case, 0 to 9 doubled, because we have two digits right there. Then another escaped dot over here. And finally, I use the same range of characters, 0 through 9, which this time is expected to occur between 1 and 3 times. So either 1, 2, or 3 times. The result is indeed the expected one, a list with only one element, the IP address matched by the regular expression. Let's assign this regular expression to a variable, let's say A. Let's do a type on A, and you can see that it is indeed a list. So you can see that we don't have a match object returned this time. We have a list returned instead. Okay, nice. We can also use grouping with the find all function by enclosing the groups we want to extract in between parentheses. Let's consider the same ARP entry. Let's see it again and almost the same find all function as before, this time grouping each IP address octet inside parentheses. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's insert parentheses for each octet. Be careful to leave the backslash dots between the octets outside parentheses. Okay. This is the second octet. This is the third one. And this is the fourth one. Okay, let's see the result now. A. This time Python returns a list of tuples. So you can see the square brackets and then the parentheses. So we have a list of tuples. Where each tuple element is a group from within the pattern. If we would have two IP addresses in the ARP string, then we would end up with a list containing two tuples. Let's check this by inserting another IP address in the ARP string. Okay, let's do a copy from here. And I don't know, let's insert an IP address at random at the end of the file. Okay, let's see the ARP string now. Now let's use find all again to find all matching patterns in the string. This one over here, okay. Now let's see A. And indeed we got a list of tuples this time. Cool.
Lastly, let's talk about the fourth function you should know when using regular expressions. This is the sub function, so re.sub. This function simply replaces all occurrences of the specified pattern in the target string, with a string you enter as an argument. Optionally, you can also define the maximum number of replacements to be made using the max parameter. Let's consider the same ARP entry as the target string and replace all digits in the string with the 7 digit. So, for this you should apply the sub function like this. Let's see, let's say b equals re.sub. First, let's enter the pattern. So, we are looking for all digits in the string. So, we'll use a special sequence, backslash d. Then the replacement for those digits. We said we wanted 7 instead of every digit in the string. And finally, the target string. So, ARP in this case. Now, let's see B. So, you see that each digit matched by the backslash D special sequence was replaced with 7. Great. I know that the regular expressions topic is a hard topic to digest at first. To better understand it and also learn additional ways of matching patterns, check out the link in the additional section of this lecture. And also get into the Python interpreter shell and start playing around with regular expressions.